Hi, I'm at the IO Magazine Global Top 50 Awards with Mathieu Bouillet, IO Manager at Total, and you've just won uh, Best Company in the Energy Sector at our awards. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here in Paris uh, and uh, to have won that award. It's a, a good, uh, good achievement and good success for us. Yeah, it's great to see you here. Now, the, the awards are voted for by fund managers, buy side analysts, and sell side analysts. Why do you think they've appreciated your IR efforts? Um, I'm thinking about two things. Uh, the first one is that we try to get uh, to have a consistency in the messaging we are delivering and in the strategy of the company, basically. Um, since the brand price collapse of four years ago, we completely reshuffled our strategy uh, to uh, to a different type of uh, hydrocarbon, slow break, even in all focusing on gas and, and new uh, low carbon electricity businesses. And uh, and we, we believe that the consistency in which uh, we communicated this, this team uh, kind of paying today yes fantastic and i don't know are there any like specific initiatives that you've taken with your ir program after the, the last year that might have you know affected the way investors or analysts voted well i mean uh, one of them which is a bit decorating to the strategy of the company but which is uh, ir specific is the fact that we uh, we have gone to new york for our for captain market day um, we used to, to do it in London twice a year, so now it's once a year in London, once a year in New York, uh, because we believe it's a good way as well to uh, to speak to buy side. Of course, we're rotating down there, but now our, C our CEO and CFO and, and the top executives are directly there to uh, to spend a full day with uh, with investors uh, and with the sell side as well. So we believe that's a good uh, a good day for them to uh, to exchange on the strategy and to have direct access to the world management team. Fantastic. And maybe one last question. Um, one of the big topics here today, because we've had the global um, forum as well, has been ESG. A lot of people have been talking about it. I just wondered, because you're obviously in the energy sector, what sort of ESG initiatives are you undertaking? How are you sort of integrating that into what you do? Well, actually, I mean, uh, if, I, if I just zoom on one of the ESG, which is climate, uh, we are an oil and gas company. And today we've been, in the past years, we've been challenged uh, about this uh, being an oil and gas company and how sustainable is that. And, and the, the CEO, the new CEO, Patrick Puyane, has launched a very strong uh, change in the company, not to be only an oil and gas company, but to be an energy company. So we are not now uh, only producing uh, oil, gas uh, only. We are producing electricity, low carbon electricity uh, coming as well from gas or renewables and this is a big shift uh, in our uh, in our transition we are investing and we are uh, be growing that business uh, substantially uh, for the last uh, three years and we will keep doing this in the coming uh, future because it's a matter for us of sustainability of the business sustainability of the of the of our market and we believe this could create uh, value as well for our, for our shareholders on, on the long run great well thank you for talking to us today and congratulations again on your award thank you very much